Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about a rather short topic on my videos of pneumonias. It is hospital acquired pneumonia. So it is another type of pneumonia which is uh, basically as the name suggests acquired from the hospital or inside the healthcare facilities. So it is also known as nosocomial pneumonia. Uh, it is contracted by a patient inside a hospital and at least 48 to 72 hours after being admitted. So this is the criteria basically that the patient has to contract it at least 48 to 72 hours after being admitted admitted most commonly caused by bacteria as compared to viruses so bacteria are most common you can say perpetrators in case of hospital acquired pneumonia so basically hospital acquired pneumonia is further subdivided into two types one is ventilator associated pneumonia and other is healthcare associated pneumonia so ventilator associated pneumonia it is a subtype of HAP HAP is basically short form for hospital acquired pneumonia and occurs in people who are on mechanical ventilation so basically patient who are receiving mechanical ventilation or are on ventilators they usually contract this ventilator associated pneumonia and clinical symptoms are either absent or difficult to diagnose and these patients are often sedated in such condition as they are already on mechanical ventilation so positive culture is the best diagnostic tool in such patients and the causative organism which can cause ventilator associated pneumonia are most commonly pseudomonas or agnesa is the most common you can say culprit in case of ventilator associated pneumonia and it can also be caused by Klebsiella pneumonia, echinobacter or MRSA now we'll come to the another category that is healthcare associated pneumonia so these are patients who have frequent contact with the healthcare environment for example nurses sweepers or janitors or other doctors who usually frequently come and go in the healthcare or works in the healthcare environment like hospital workers or patient with frequent visit to the hospital are basically at higher risk so the causative organism that leads to the healthcare associated pneumonia are most commonly caused by streptococcus aureus uh, other than this they can be caused by pseudomonas aeruginosa uh, streptococcus pneumoniae and hemophilus influenzae so these are the causative organism for healthcare associated pneumonia and now you can see most of the nosocomial uh, infection are due to micro aspiration uh, of the upper airway secretion so most of these nosocomial infection are due to a uh, micro aspiration of the upper airway secretion through aspiration into the lower respiratory tract so this is the mode of transmission basically so what is the treatment treatment for hospital acquired and ventilator associated is basically uh, divided into two categories one is uh, mdr another is uh, non mdr uh, mdr means basically uh, multi drug resistant bacteria and non mdr means uh, which are not multi drug resistant so in case of mdr if the bacteria present or the causative organism is pseudomonas then the treatment of choice will be piperacillin tazobactam or meropenem with amikacin so piperacillin tazobactam combination or meropenem can be given with amikacin if the causative organism is uh, community uh, that is uh, MRSA that is methicillin resistant streptococcus aureus uh, then we can also add in this linezolid linezolid will be added in this combination this whole combination piperacillin tazobactam or meropenem plus amikacin plus linezolid in case of community acquired methicillin resistant streptococcus aureus if the causative organism is this in case of known mdr uh, for example pneumococcus which is streptococcus pneumoniae or pseudomonas if they are the uh, causative organism then the simple uh, treatment like uh, piperacillin tazobactam com combination with diofloxacin can be given in these cases so this is a rather short video describing only uh, hospital acquired pneumonia i hope you like it and thank you so much